So what I wanted to do was go ahead and uh, just go through my gear bag, show you what it is that I'm using for this season. Um, and um, yeah, most of this stuff you can find on punisherspb.com. Uh, there's a couple things that you'll have to go direct to the, uh, the company uh, that it is produced by, but you'll see that in a little bit. So uh, I guess what we'll do first is go through the outer pockets. I have still been using this HK bag from when I played with the, uh, with the Latin Saints. Um, it's a, a decent size. It's not too big, not too small. Uh, I can fit everything in here just fine. There's a nice goggle case section here, which I actually don't use for my goggle, and I'm going to explain in a second why, but I can put clothes there. I've done that before. Uh, this outer, I'm sorry, this bottom part here does expand, but that's just where I keep my cleats. So uh, just a little side note, if you guys are looking for deals, find whatever it is that you have for you know whatever size it is that you have for each company and go on eBay. Like those are usually like a hundred something dollars. I think I got them for like 35 or 40 shipped. And then I periodically will just check. There's another pair I have in the in the closet that are ready when these blow out that I probably got for another like 30, 35. So just a, a little side note there. Uh, so I guess we'll just open up. So extra gloves. Um, I do use those uh, Gorilla Grip gloves. So you can get these off Amazon pretty cheap. And my Guru gun stand. Um, but yeah, like I just am able to put my gun down I don't have to lay it out on anything. Uh, it's already going to get dirty enough, and I don't need people stepping on it. Um, but yeah, everything breaks down pretty nicely. So put that back in there. Go to this pocket, which is another essential. So this is the Ruthless Paintball Dirt Bag. Uh, I've done a little short on this before, um, but basically it's a changing bag. So I can lay this out, step on it. I don't have to worry about my, uh, my socks or whatever getting dirty and then putting dirty feet into you know shoes, whatever. Or if I'm changing, maybe you don't care and you're like, ah, whatever, but you care more after the uh, practice or whatever. Uh, you can actually put everything in here and then you just pull this drawstring and it tightens everything up and then you have all your nasty stuff not next to you know touching whatever it is that you have in your gear bag so i like to have this uh it rolls up as long as there's no air getting all caught in there and i'm able to put it right into that side pocket uh let's go over to this side where i have especially in florida um brute so this sunscreen is awesome um uh, also, the Yarbers are just great people. Uh, I, I just like them. Um, but uh, but yeah, like it's a reef safe. Um, it's a lot of zinc. So was it zinc? Let me see. Yeah, zinc oxide, not just zinc. <laughs> uh, but it's been great. Um, they have other ones. I have my little fanny pack thing at events, and there's like a, a stick version, and uh, so I can just real quick just reapply. Um, but Brute's been awesome. Uh, and then also, just in case I ever need it, let's say that we're having a two-day practice or my gear is just kind of gross, uh, just talcum powder. Right now, it's the anti-monkey butt, but, I mean, you can just go to CVS and get whatever. Over on this side. So, of course, um, I'm going to leave these in here because I didn't have them last time. So I want to make sure I put them in now. Um, I, I try to bring stickers with me. So I'm just going to leave these in here now. Got my whoop, dye slick lube. So got the uh, the good stuff. A tub like this will actually last you a while, just, just so you know. So it's worth the money. Um, of course, uh, Transfuse. I need to get another another pack, but uh, yeah, Transfuse has been great. Uh, thank you to them. I, I do have a discount code for that down below. And then this is uh, just because I guess I can get kind of disgusting. So it's literally just like a bath wipe. So I wanted to leave that in there. And then I have a little parts kit uh, for my powerhouse reg. So yeah, all right, let's get out of the outer pockets and get to the main stuff. So first things first, for those that don't know, I used to work at Exalt, so I mean, I'm, I like supporting them. Um, so first things first, I got my uh, barrel maids. So 
they're pretty much bulletproof. I mean, this one, I don't even know how long I've had. I just got these pretty recently. Um, but yeah, so the little rocket disc, I literally have like an eight minute video on how to use these properly. People make fun of me for it. And then I see them use it wrong. So, so be it. Uh, and then a pod swab. This one is the original. Uh, I, when I worked there, I think we wanted to do a video of like hammering with this. It's really hard to break this material. So you have the little carabiner, but I just have this top pocket in here. So I can just leave it right in there and it is all zipped up and ready to go. So getting into the goods here, of course I have my DSR Plus. Uh, so this is Cabra Arms did this, so you can hit them up if you wanted to uh, get any lasering done. Uh, super clean lines, they did a great job. And of course I have my Ironman kit inside there. Um, but yeah, this DSR, legitimately, I do like this gun. This isn't one of those, whoa, Greg, you play on a die team, da 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 da. I, I do actually like this gun, so it's not me just saying stuff. Then I have some parts in here, my barrel kit, all that. Let me just put this over here. Uh, and then, so clearly, I'm not sponsored by Bunker King, but if it's perfect for my rotors. So I have my R2 and then my backup LTR. If you guys have the LTR, just a heads up, get this, get that end charge. That end charge will save you. Um, I haven't charged this in, I don't know how long and it still has 75% at least battery. Just check it out. I, I actually really like those. I think I can actually get it for the R2 as well. So I might need to uh, go ahead and do that. And then I have, my extra more little parts. I guess I'll put those back over here. And my degassing tool from uh, from Powerhouse. So that way you don't have to run it through your gun uh, and mess anything up there. And then in this little pocket, just in case it rains, I got my rain lid. Zip this back up. So this just helps keep everything where it should be. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do next? Oh, there we go. Uh, my first strike tank. Um, if you guys do have the exalt fill nipple cover, uh, and you don't want to cover this up when you take your reg off, just put it on that bottom section there and it fits right there. It's perfect. Uh, so, so yeah, so powerhouse you guys already know has been amazing. I have these custom ones. So thank you so much to them. Uh, first strike has been awesome. One of the guys on uh, Ruthless uh, works for them. So uh, they've been fantastic, uh, great support. And uh, yeah, they're just, they've been around for a long time. So if you need like self-defense stuff, they have all that too. Uh, but yeah, I use an 88. I used to use a 90 SL. Um, I just like a longer setup. That's just me. So I like to have more tank than like I, I you can get the extender or the long body. I just prefer just a longer tank. I'd rather have more air capacity. Okay. All right. So then we have my mask. So there's the i5. Yes, someone did shoot out my gem. So I need to get a, a, a new one of those. Uh, and oh, so this is something. Exalt came out, this is version three. Yeah, version three. This this case is a lot more durable than the original one. Uh, not that the other one was bad, it's just that they, there's more structural integrity to this. So I guess I can be kind of OCD and I don't like my mask to, to flex and all that, uh, and then have it where it's not the right shape on my face. So this provides it so that I can like have pressure and all that and it's gonna be okay. And it's microfiber line, so you don't have to worry about your stuff getting all destroyed. Uh, and then going, I guess, along with Exalt, I do have my, uh, my lens case. So it's always good to have a clear lens. And then I do have another, I guess this would be a little bit darker. Uh, actually, this one's pretty much the same as that blue one, um, but it's kind of like a purple kind of tint. So, you know, if you wanna change things up. Uh, but a clear lens is a must. You wanna make sure that you have that just because you never know how the event is gonna turn out. And you also don't want it to be that you pull your lens out and it's scratched. So again, microfiber lined. And if you wanted to, I don't think I have anything in here. Guess I can check. Yeah, there's like an inner pocket. So you can do that. I've had this for like six or seven years probably. Uh, you can see it's all getting worn away, but it's still holding up. So I'm gonna keep using it. Uh, some more gloves. I already showed you guys those. 
uh, undershirt. So just a cut off, just big shirt. Um, I kind of go in, in phases. Sometimes I have a, a dry fit, might be a tank top. Lately, I've been kind of wanting to use more of the, the cut off. Call me weird, I don't know. So just, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see then uh, padding. So diable pads, um, they're, they're great. So I've used these for a long time before. Uh, and I think I had knee pads from, from dye that lasted for a crazy amount of time. So next up is the uh, Ruthless underlayer. So it's super flexible and light. So thanks Ruthless. <laughs> Uh, then my head wrap, so Ruthless as well. And also my Ruthless headband. Can you tell I play for a Ruthless team? Uh, so my Christ Crew headband there. Uh, the bottom section, so my, my joggers, let me put those pockets in. <laughs> or else it would look kind of weird. Um, so the joggers are great. Um, they, they have good flex to them. They're doing exactly what they need to do. Uh, the whole jogger trend has been a good thing for paintball just because you don't need to have these crazy bulky pants and then of course i got my uh my jersey so um this is my how to play paintball one be sure to check out ruthless uh paintballproducts.com every once in a while we will be doing custom ones so like this is our bruiser one but i think this this design is discontinued i also had the vice which i think is discontinued as well um but yeah be uh on the lookout for that stuff let's see what else do i got in here okay got my pack so my dye pack, um, nothing to say, it's, it's a pack. <laughs> uh, so um, I have two, and there's reasoning behind this. I actually have another barrel cover. It's not bad to have too many barrel covers. Uh, if I'm at an event, I probably wouldn't use this one just because if I go to throw it and someone picks it up, I personally like to have the cloth ones at events, so that way I can just put it into my pocket and then I always have it. I don't have to be looking around trying to get back into the pit and trying to find my, my barrel cover when I can just pull it out of my pocket. Let's see, what else do I got in here? Uh, a receipt. Guess I need to clean it more. Uh, and then just some athletic tape. It's not bad to have this. Uh, usually I'll put this on my barrel for the uh, uh, the GoPro that I use, but it doesn't hurt just to have this if you need to, oh man, something happened where I had to get a new tank or a new product of something and you need to tape it, it's good to have. So just Amazon's good. And uh, some Loctite, just in case you need it. Some, some Loctite isn't a bad thing to have. Uh, and that, is it. So thank you again to uh, punisherspb.com for sponsoring this video. A lot of this stuff you can get off their website. The Ruthless stuff, they have their own version. So you can always check it out there. Uh, and then you can always go over to ruthlesspaintballproducts.com. Check that out. Check in the description down below. I have a bunch of different um, uh, links and all of that. So if you want to look at any deals, you can go ahead and look at it there. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, again, thank you to Punishers for sponsoring this video. And I will see you on the next one. As always, remember, watch, learn, win. Thanks.